fucking... <laughs> are, you, are you sure about that? All right. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, ladies, and gentle lems. Welcome to another fantastic fanboy feast. I'll be your host, Kios. Tonight on the menu, we have a modified quickened version of a belly ram or ghost belly ram uh, curry. And I guess I'm going to fry up some onion petals and teach y'all how to do that. If you spent time on the stream, I really, really honestly do appreciate it. We'll give you the links up first. There's Discord if you want to play games with us after this cooking stream. There's the YouTube to catch up on what you've missed. All sorts of wonderful things on there. Tea drinkers, check out the blends we put together with our friends over at Adagio. Proceeds benefiting the Trevor Project. If you want to support a small business and, uh, you know, my wife as we attempt to figure out this housing situation, feel free to check out her Etsy. She crochets a whole bunch of cute stuff. And also does some really unique ethically sourced bone jewelry. Last but not least, you want to get those extra cooking votes. You want to be super cool. Check out the throne wish list. Uh, but yeah, I will see you all out in the kitchen in just a second. I have a, I'll bring the doodle because she's quanking. All right, this thing on. Okay. Come on. I will let you say hi to everybody. Oh, what is this? What is this? Furry fucking doodle. Here she is. In all of her furry glory. Yeah, look at you. You're getting fat because you keep getting minnows for tweets. Anyway, you thought this was a cooking stream. You're wrong! It's just three hours of me holding a ferret. Say yeah. Hi, doodle. Hi, doodle. Oh, kisses for me. You taste like minnows. Mm, you taste like bait and tackle store. Okay, are you, are you done cranking? I know you probably need wood or something, so let's get you some wood. -er. Stinky booty. But yes, I appreciate everyone showing up tonight. I am going to make some curry. Uh, it's actually going to be the first time, not first time I've worked with lamb, but the first time working with lamb in a while. Um, this recipe traditionally calls for mutton, uh, which is just old lamb. <laughs> like old McDonald's, but with a lamb. Um, so I couldn't find that. And to be honest, we went grocery shopping Friday because I said, fuck it, Friday's gonna be a great day. We're gonna have a, sh a, sh a short weekend. It'll be great. Or sorry, a long weekend. It'll be great. So anyway, that's what I fucked up. All right. So let's do this. Jeej, your claws out of there. I start selling pictures of you on the internet. Okay. So, uh, because we do have a little bit of marination to do first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that first. Uh, um, and that will be the starting point. Then we'll work on the onions. Let me get our lamb for stew out. Damn. Okay, then. Uh, I have got some plain yogi, which we'll also need. I've got some onions. Just fucking casually impale myself on a knife. You know, typical Keo business. And uh, I should have the veggies. It shouldn't be anything too, too crazy tonight. I do have peppers as well. All right, I'm gonna slide this over and we'll take a journey into sight and sound or whatever the fucking line is. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Mm. Way excellent, eh? Uh-huh. Is the side cam frozen? Maybe? Motherfucker. Okay. Let me go fix that. I don't know what caused that, but we'll certainly find out together.
It may not like the resolution on it or something. Ah, there it is. But yeah, let me let me try dropping the resolution on it. It probably just doesn't like that it has so many fucking um, inputs going on at once. Well, resolutions at once. Let me make sure that lines up, otherwise I'm going to be in the way. There we go, that looks good. Alright. Every day is great at your GMS. Okay. So, I will pull up the recipe. Um, so we're gonna slice onion, ginger, garlic, red chili powder. Um, uh, okay. All right. I am gonna start working on this. Let's uh, let's get this all in here. Um, I'm just gonna use standard plain ass low fat yogurt. Like, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. <laughs> like, I don't didn't have the wherewithal to get like Greek yogurt all the fancy stuff. It's it's fucking yogurt. It'll be fine. They've been doing this for fucking centuries, okay? You think your local Indian John be fucking slanging only, you know, they're marinating their stuff in only exclusively Icelandic uh, free-range camp yogurt? No, they're not. It's not even close. Yeah, the answer is because Logitech. Okay, so we have this. Yeah. Next up, I'm just gonna slice out the onion. Let's use the good knife. It says sliced, so I guess not diced. So, fucking cut them. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll chat on chat in just a second here. Oh yeah. Here's hope. Next week starts off nicely. But we still got tomorrow to get through. Uh, tomorrow is Easter. Um, I'll make mention of it again. I did the schedule without recognizing that, so whatever. I'll stream if I want to stream when I get back home. If I don't, I don't. I'm sure you're, you'll all be fine. <laughs> I, I feel like most of you are should be adults enough. Okay, I don't have green cardamom, but I do have cardamom pods. I don't have coriander seeds. Uh, she really doesn't actually like coriander seeds, so... I'm just gonna fucking page down a bit. A few tablespoons. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, four or five cardamoms. It's simple. We 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 did this when we made that cake. So yeah, just give it a squeeze, crack them open. There we go. 
Ooh, this one had a lot of pod in it. Hell yeah. You can always hope, yeah. A, a taste of hope, if one will. <sighs> Might have to grab five. Dang, you know, I should have flour now. I think I, I, think I have, like... Regular milk too? I, I don't know if I actually do. But we can we can work around that. I'll be honest, the biggest thing with with like a fried onion or a blooming onion is it's all about the sauce. Like well, let's be frank, you know? Alright. Crack some fresh peppercorns into it. I'm not a fan of straight black peppercorn, I'll be honest. So I, I only go with like a Szechuan style blend. This is black, white, and pink. Oh, cool. Onion, ginger, garlic, chili powder, cloves, cinnamon stick, salt. I have fractured cinnamon, so that should be fine. Red pepper. <laughs> White, black, and pink. Yeah, that's generally. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very similar to a Szechuan peppercorn blend. Um, okay, garlic and ginger. Okay, does everyone know? Everyone know how to properly peel ginger? That's the question, and if you don't know the answer, that's okay. I'll make fun of you, just be fucking be honest. That's right, if you guessed a spoon, you win nothing, really, to be honest. I don't have anything to give. Ran out of fucks last, oh, yes, yes. Okay, so, we'll put this away, we'll scoop that. Yes, I know that ginger's a little spoon, yeah. With a peeler? No. You're wasting your time and you're gonna slice your fingers off. All right, ready, ginger, spoon, ready? right off every time the thing with running a peeler on ginger is it's like really tough because of um just like all the fucking weird angles and catches and like carbuncles because ginger is not like a perfectly smooth surface you know what i mean i mean like you know apples uh, you know potatoes and it's not a big deal but like it's very knobbly so like <laughs> if you're using a peeler you're just gonna of like destroying half the fucking ginger anyway, you know? Like I said, mine's a little dehydrated from chilling in the fridge for too long, but whatever. It's still ginger. It'll still taste good. Sorry, fresh ginger wasn't on the fucking budget this week. Chopped, it shall be. So when I come out with my own custom knife, that's like seven times the price of what it's like actually worth are hundreds of you going to pre-order it.
All right, you know, that's probably more than two teaspoons, but I'll be honest, I love ginger. Yeah, carbuncle used in the term of, um, it's like used in the term of like a uh, barnacle. Okay, uh, I think that's, that's, oh, I just need cinnamon stick. I don't prescribe or believe in whole cinnamon sticks considering I can just get shit like this for fucking $3 for a pound of it. Uh, I guess I need clove too. Okay. Like I said, we're not gonna do fucking two hours with this because to be honest, there are like five of you that wanna play golf and I don't wanna hold anybody up. Okay, so here we go. Here's how she looks. It's a very simple. 90% of uh, like Indian food, uh, especially if it's like a curry, is going to be like this. So you're gonna put vegetables and spices in yogurt, mix it, and then put your meat in, and then let it sit for, to be honest, overnight is generally your best bet, like 90, 95% of the time, if you wanna get that flavor really soaked in. Uh, I still need cloves, uh, which are over here. But I will give this the best shot. Um, I can probably toss it in the freezer right Terrible, terrible shout. Oh yeah, we're gonna mix it all together, let everybody get to know each other. I mean, it definitely looks looks good. It's a, it's a nice color. I probably would have diced the onions personally, but like, you know, fucking whatever, dude. This is all gonna go in a pan together. It's gonna be delicious. So, there it is. Yogurt is, is actually really good for getting flavor into your meat. Shmeat. If you're wondering how expensive lamb is, the answer is yes. I don't want to fucking talk about it. Oh, I'm kidding. I, I, <laughs> I was making a joke how like two VTubers have their own like cooking knives now, which is like, you know, that's awesome. Great for them. Um, and then I looked at the price and just... sorry, no thanks. They're about the same price that I spent for the knife, this knife from fucking Aritsugu. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, this knife is fucking one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. Uh, the other thing with, uh, with, with lamb, mutton, goat, very, very strong. Um, very, very strong in flavor, uh, especially if you're used to like an Americanized diet of just like beef, chicken, pork, fish. Um, so the one thing the, um, this marinade is going to do is, is help kind of cut that back a little bit. So we're going to give the old schmooverini, make sure everyone gets nicely coated in the yogurt. Some would say this is a special yacht. Just like I said, just want to make sure that every piece is is like definitely chilling in some yogurt. That'll pull the boldness and gaminess out of it. Um, so yeah, well, it looks pretty good. Um, next up, I guess I will make and get ready a. Uh, some onion petals. I don't think I have milk, so I'll probably just do like a fucking regular, fucking regular bug bad. This can go up here. Um, I forgot I have butterscotch pudding that I made. It's ironic. Well, did I do that? I think I did that Thursday. Butterscotch fucking pudding at midnight. So I was like, I made it. I made a fucking dumb, unself-aware joke. I was like, hey, babe, look, I'm making butterscotch pudding at midnight, you know, because I still have some control over my life. Couldn't, couldn't have waited to make that joke. Fucking course not. 
Yeah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the, the fucking... Yo, what's up, Ilya? Like, the, the company that's attached to it try is decent enough. They seem like really honest, hardworking, good people. But, like, I understand that it's a collaboration, so the profit margins are going to be high. Like, I get it. I'm just... I don't know. It just, it feels very tough to be original. It honestly does. Alright, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna fucking petalize this onion. I think. Um, I did go with Vidalia onions. And if I do this correctly, what I think I'll do is I will use this for the curry. So, just trying to how I want to segment this out. You know what? Yeah, let's just go this way. But yeah, no, I fucking like... This, this knife was worth every fucking penny I put into it. And to be honest, I... <laughs> One of those decisions, like, yeah, it'd be cool to have, like, two, three hundred bucks, but, like, God, dude, this knife's way too fucking cool. Like, legitimately, this is such a fucking... I'll put it this way, like, Trad and I had a discussion about this. Like, realistically, a good chef, honestly, only needs, like, one, one knife. Two, two probably is, like, where, where you want to aim for. Um, but, like... This knife and, like, a fucking paring knife. It, I could do literally everything in the kitchen. Besides, like, you know, like, oh, hey, can you fucking cleave these bones? No, fuck off. Give me a fucking cleaver, idiot. Okay, so very simple on this one. I'm just going to make petals. Just take the top off, and I'm just going to cross it up. That's it. And then I'll naturally let it split split itself. And, you know, let's... At risk of making my life more challenging, let's... Let's do eights. So. What I've got here is a bowl. Everyone knows what this is, right? Okay. So, in this goes, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat these bastards, you know? Just make sure I don't get any of the skin stuck to it. Right, I'm going to try and separate these a little bit. You know, because, you know, we don't want big honking chonks of onions, so. Oh, God, my nose itches, and I know the second I slam this. Yeah. There we go. I survived. I'll check a bit if anybody has any questions. I guess I could use egg. Yeah, we could, we could egg wash this. I think I think that'll actually be like easy. Uh, do this. I should have put these in a bowl. I should have reverse course and just threw these in a red bowl, cracked an egg over it, and fuck called it a day. But uh, we'll figure it out. I am not too too worried. Again, like, there are more professional ways you can do this. Uh, I'm not fucking professional. <laughs> to be honest, like I said earlier, the, the most important thing for fried onions, whether it be bloomin' or petals like this, is please make sure you have a fucking good sauce, okay? There's nothing more disappointing than having, like, a nicely... Nice fried up. Your sauce is shit. I haven't re poured this tea yet. Sell them at twice the. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know how business works, Fantor. I know.
I'm just thinking of the easiest way to do this. The answer is there is no easy way. Alright. While I'm in the kitchen, I'm gonna get myself some sauces. Actually, I'm gonna push this back because there is. I'm gonna do some diggy do. Ow! Look, and this is why you wear knee pads. Did I use all of Chrissy's hot sauce? Nope, I think I see it. I'll glam your penis in the card. No, that's just old ass salsa. That can get thrown out. <sighs> I'm gonna do, do a quick fridge clean out while we're over here. I need a lot of things, Spantar. <laughs> This will be the basis of the fucking dipping sauce. Sorry. Choking down food. Mm. Alright. So I'm gonna keep this really simple. We're just gonna fucking. Just gonna egg wash these. So that'll be one of the easiest things to get the fucking flour to stick to. So, nice and simple. Mm. Yeah, that onion be hitting dough. Mm. I swear that onions burn my eyes when I'm already exhausted, but never like any other time. So the ingredients bag can go back here. Uh, That's how I feel about it. I will need this later for the curry. Probably dice it in, add a little bit extra flavor. 
Okay, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna get some flour in here first, let's be honest. I also have my spider at the ready, so we're in good shape there. I hate it when this shit happens. Fuck you and your shitty flour bag. So, uh, this is actually white whole wheat flour uh, because I can't fucking read. So everyone fucking point and laugh at this more. Um, either way, this bag does so. You know, there's that. <sighs> okay, so next up, we're going to season this liberally, okay? Liberally. Salt there. I'm gonna hit these with fresh salt as well. These peas. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is get some oil in a fucking pan. And we're gonna be coating. Um, I'm not gonna go fucking too crazy here. So let's just grab this. And that's gonna go with like fucking you know medium, medium high. Don't fucking flash, fucking flash up your oil and shit. But. There we go. You don't need too much because, again, there's fucking onion petals. I will probably need more flour, but I'd rather start small, work my way up. Mm, dust some cayenne over top of that. And we're just going to wait until we get some goodness. And then I will drop them in, and then I guess we'll have to start working on the mutton. I do love onion. But yeah, um, well, shit. This, uh, we probably got, I would say, let's be honest, there's still an hour left in this. We'll do some golf until like 11, we can do an hour of lethal and nightingale and then I gotta go to bed at a reasonable time, I guess. That's a good coat in here. I don't put those little ones, so it's not a big loss overall. Give the old flour a spin. Yeah, I'll definitely need more. Again, I don't. I haven't. I haven't fried with whole wheat flour, so this could just be a fucking disaster. Um, but you know, you live and learn. Listen, the fact that they make it literally the same color as their normal bag of flour. I'm like, yeah, I get it. I should fucking read at the same time. I fucking hate being at the grocery store. At least that was another fucking mouth breathers. So, any questions yet? Now? <laughs> Alright, starting to smell like oil, which is good. Not spattering yet, so not hot enough. That's a dangerous but easy way to tell. Is my oil hot enough to start frying? No, because it's not popping. Um, well, I guess we could work on this. All right, 
dipping sauce. Okay, I'm starting to get pop over a little bit. So, it's pretty simple. Normally I make it with horseradish. Um, wife doesn't like horseradish, so. There is no exact measurements to this. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't. Le ketchup. I will add a little bit of scammon juice. I think it's just technically a Sicilian lemon juice, which fucking whatever. it out. I fucking hope. A little bit of mustardio. That is too hot already. I can fucking tell. gonna <coughs> die I'm going to die uh, mix well here and then I will see how fucking spicy this is and probably have to adjust accordingly you know what? it's smoky it's definitely a bit too spicy tight <coughs> oil floats to the top Hopefully that steps it down a little bit. Well, fortunately, nothing us. Gonna have a little kick. Oh well. What's up, Jellyard? Big ups on the resub, brother. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. Um, what I'm gonna do: right hand, left hand, wet hand, dry hand. Just sprinkle some of these in here. Give them the old twist and shout. I might just do this entire thing in one go. To make sure I don't have too many extraneous drippies. Hopefully you're having a good time. Yeah, I wasn't precise with my pour of the hot sauce. So now I have a very smoky and uh, a wee bit spicy um dipping sauce so <sighs> excuse me yeah it's a bit spicy that's a natural spice of reflux there all right, ah, there we go. Finally made it through a cooking stream where I'm throwing flour on the floor again. It's like some things never fucking change. All right. I know this is good to shoot off now, so let's do that. We're gonna take it very 
and clean the air. And set the time. We're gonna take old dry hand. And what we're gonna do is, look at that, right in, nice and gentle, always away from yourself. You don't get too much extra flour in there. We're getting some good puffing on it. That felt wonderful. <laughs> oh, not gonna put them all. Just gonna load these into a bowl. To be honest, the easiest way to do this is so if I. Unfortunately, hey Bubba, if you get up in the future, could you grab me paper towels? If not, don't fucking worry about it. All right, so let me take a look at some of these. What? Yes, ma'am. I don't think you did. Don't forget, I've also been working with the resin printer. All right, first batch done. These are very, very simple, very easy. Nice and puffed up. Yeah, I know they're not as, uh, you know, fantabulous as the, I appreciate the shit out of you. Um, you know, they're dark and hella coated and crispy, but like, it's like simple and easy. Also, I'm not deep frying them. That's another thing. You know, obviously, better cover if you're soaking them in choice. No need to go crazy here. That's it. Fucking murder she wrote, baby. Yeah, you could air fry him. Air fry is always an option. I don't own an air fryer. That's it, that's all. Again, these are just, they're not fucking outback level of like crispity crunchity. And you're like, yeah, I know there are ways you could do it better. You could deep fry it, it'll stick better. You know, instead of just using flour, you could use uh, a little bit of cornstarch or potato starch in the mix to help get it puffy and crunchy. But at the end of the day, my stress levels are fucking high enough. I don't need fucking incredible deep fried ass shenanigans, all right? One for me. But 
Here we go. Look at that. See? Nicely coated. It's hot as shit. A little onion petal. Dip it. A little bit of crunch. The other thing I'd probably recommend too is like letting the, let it, I would probably salt the onions a little bit. Try and mixture out of them. I will bring some of these to you. See, nothing too, too fancy or crazy. Ooh, nice little coating. Translucent, nicely cooked. Uh, the other thing you could probably do is toss a little bit of salt on these when they're done. That's like kind of standard fried food obligations. I just put mine in the dip because my wife loves dippy sauces, so there's no need to double dip. Hmm. There you go. Very simple, very easy. You want some of this, Baba? Oh, okay, you paint. Ugh. All right, simple as. Yeah, way less complexity. Uh, it's just onion petals with a, I accidentally made it a bit too spicy dippy sauce, but I think you'll be okay. Yeah, it's, um, in terms of like battered onions, yeah, oh God, it's, it's horrible, dude. <laughs> That's why, um, I just do like a, what I would consider a lighter variant of it. It's literally just like tiniest bit of flour, a little bit of egg wash. That's it. I am just taking a look. Yeah, this should be okay. The curry is gonna be more of a knife skill showcase. Yeah, um, blooming onions are, like, in the ass, personally. And you can honestly really only deep fry them because of the shape. I like, honestly, like, onion petals better. <laughs> because the other thing is you're not, like, setting up an entire of oil. Hold up, young blood. I'm just like kind of thinking about how I want to how I want to time out cooking everything for this because I'm gonna have this onion I'm gonna have carrot I'm gonna have pepper I hope you've had a tremendous day young lettuce Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, raw onions are just kind of boring to me. All right. Let's 
So, again, if you're at home, do this shit overnight. Me, this is about 45 minutes. Um, but it should be pretty okay. Now, what we are going to do is... Let's just say this pretending I'm... I'm going to add some heat to this large, thicker bottom pan. And I'm just going to take this half a stick of butter... Dean. Let's. It's gluten free. With my. Yeah, dude. Most most curry is gluten free. <laughs> so you know. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is get this. Technically, you're supposed to use tea. I'm not fucking reducing butter. Please, just, just stop. This will be fine. But what I want to do is get this all nice and melted down. And then, toss what I got here. You know what, let's add a little mustard seed to this. Even though I don't think it's traditional, but we'll put a little bit in there. And then now, what I'm gonna wanna do is get this basically not ripping hot, but I do want some heat into it because obviously I have cold marinated stuff going in here. We're gonna basically keep a monitor on this until it's about halfway cooked. Then I'm gonna start tossing the rest of the veggies in there. So we will basically work on this. Get it nice and, uh, actually, what is the procedure on this? Hold on. Let me double triple check my sale. Tacos, tacos are fucking great. Two flannels and a white corduroy button up. Nice, dude. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really glad that you're taking protecting your virginity so seriously, you know? So glad you're saving yourself for marriage. Okay, so, in, now what I am looking for here is boiling. I want to see this shit fucking bubbling and in a high old time. It is, you know, it's also fucking yogurt, so that's part of it. So, there we go. Let that bitch rip. Um, they just wanted... So, ghee is, is like a clarified butter that breaks down a lot easier. Um, realistically, uh, you can just use butter. You're poor. Like, if you're poor, like me, Fucking don't sweat it. She's butter. So, I basically, I'm going to let this go. I want to hear some bubbling. <clears throat> Once we get it bubbling, I'm going to cover it. And that will simmer for a little bit. That is a weird indentation on my finger. But, in the meantime, I actually saw a fucking copy of Space Hogs in the meantime. Uh, <laughs> the fucking record sort of e-form, but like, still, didn't expect to see that shit. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll do half sliced on that. Actually, you know what, I don't even need to add fucking onion. Who am I kidding? It's gonna be cooked in there. Um, carrot, though. Bubba, you want pep pepper carrot? Okay. Oh, Twitch chat some. Ooh, woo. You wanna uh, you want rough cutties or slices? For for carrot. Okay. I'm gonna do So 
we'll do uh, we'll do fucking rounds on this. All right, this is definitely coming to a. Board. So I'm gonna drop temp on that, and we gonna cover. I will stir it occasionally. But let's work on carrot. So if you're unfamiliar with rounds, it's just fucking rotate 45 degrees cut, rotate 45 degrees cut. Basically what you're looking for is just, um, it'll inevitably end up at like roughly the same size pieces. Um, it just makes cooking shit easier. Like it'll all cook a bit more evenly. So, you know, not terrible. Let's do, let's do two carrot. Um, and I will probably add these earlier than I will the peppers. Carrots will take longer to cook. A rib fest. They use, there's a, they just have like, it's, okay, you know what a, what a fucking like an apple, apple core is, or an apple slicer? They just use that on a fucking Vidalia onion. That, that's, that's it, it's not the fucking fancy. We will give this, uh, I'd say like, probably about five minutes and I'll throw the carrots in. They will take a while to cook. Carrots are very fucking sturdy. Yep, that too. It's definitely starting to smell real fucking good, I'll tell you that much. Okay, let me see what other fun things Kios has. Kidding in this treasure trove and Wonderland Emporium. I know I've got some. Is that what I think you are? Hell yeah. Secret bags. Secret, secret bags of that brown stuff. You know. No, you know. Garam masala. Fresh garam masala powder. So we'll put a little bit of that in. I know, it's sacrilegious. It's not a garam masala. Why are you putting garam masala powder in it? Because aromatics, fragrance. Add a little bit of color, too.
I gotta sneak something fucking wicked. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo! Woo wee! Alright, I'm gonna get in here and just give this like an actual stir. So as this is covered, it's going to help steam, but you're also, at this point in time, you're cooking off um, the liquid from uh, the liquid from the yogurt as well as the butter, which is why it looks particularly soupy at this point. He obviously has clarified butter. I so see you've already removed like a large bit of the liquid content from it. I'm actually going to kick this open a little bit just to let some of the steam come out. Questions, concerns. We're awfully fucking quiet, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Does smell really fucking good though. I will add those carrots in a little bit and then we'll work on the pepper. Ugh. these onion petals out because they're just sitting in oil. That's not going to help them get this up. <laughs> nothing fancy. Again, I'm nothing fancy, so. Simmering. Like I said, they, um, they definitely want you to reduce the sauce, but again, uh, I'm not going to, you know, forcibly uh, do that because I want to obviously keep the, keep the lamb that's cooking in there. Um, I definitely want to keep that, um, keep it moist. I'm sorry, I want to keep it moist. Uh, I do have a little bit of, I think this ginger root powder, which is a slightly different f flavor and texture than ginger. So we'll put a little bit of that in there as well. And we just stewing and brewing. The other thing that's going to happen with these carrots as they cook is they're going to release a lot of sugar. Um, however, to, to get to that point, you have to get a lot of the water out of them, you know? And it's very tough to do uh, because it's quite liquid. So nice little shimmy and shake here. I think I'm going to actually go in and give this a full stir to make sure cooking too far over on any sides. Starting to see some color. 
in El Mutton, which is good. It's on the outside, but there we go. Like I said, they definitely, they definitely want you to cook it down to like a, a more of a paste consistency. Um, how do I want to complement this color wise? Let's go with an orange boy. A uh, little, little pro tip here, if in fact you have a very sensitive tummy, what you can do is peppers is just really quick. Um, and what that is going to is it'll allow you to peel the skin off, which is generally what ends up irritating people's stomachs. Um, so literally just char it and then scrub the skin off with the bag of the knife. I mean, fuck. This pain, baby. All right. So we're gonna do this Japanese style. I don't want to see any of this like white or discoloration on this. So we're just going to cut it nice and flat. Remember, if you're cutting towards yourself, please be fucking careful. It is a skill that some of us have learned after a little bit of practice with the knife. There we go. So this, these halfsies. And then we're just going to go through and make a little, well, basically a half julienne type deal. I just don't want them super like fucking long. Again, peppers, very liquid. So I'm going to toss them in there. And at this point, because we did, it's going to be a battle of can I keep everything cooking without out, but I need it to slow at the end. So, matchsticks going in. I guess realistically, you can put potato in this. I think we're a little bit late in the but. Always an option. I apologize if I'm not getting all this wonderful. Once I get it all in, the, the old fucking, give it the old twirl. Lucrative uh. career. On the side, I just took a look in there. We're starting to see some of the oils flip, which is pretty good. It's where I want it to be heat a little bit. Check back in on chat in just a minute here. All right, there we go. We have our basically half matched it. fingers have just been up at this point. And I'm gonna give this an actual quick stir. I'm actually going to grab a fucking probe here and see what we're looking at. I'm pretty sure lamb goes has to go to 165. So... Yeah, this is definitely cooked. 
seen a lot of 190s. So technically it's a little overcooked, but again, we're basically braising it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick this back up to schmedium and we're just gonna try and get this liquid off. I'll be honest, it doesn't look anything like the picture. But, you know, c'est la vie. It's probably because there's I didn't put enough coriander in it, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that fuck. We are. Don't be fucking stupid. Never just jam your hands in a fucking sink. That's literally the first time that's fucking closed in forever since I've moved into this place. Fuck this. Alright, I basically just, just need this to fucking cook down. That's all it's got to do. It's starting to look like the, the fucking color of the, the picture on the internet. Again, it would be darker if I had used ghee instead of just regular butter, but let's just let it do its thing. Let it reduce. Some leftover rice, I'll just throw it on that. Plate it up. I'll ping the Discord to see if anyone's around. If not, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> What's going on, lovers? Doing your paintings? I am so tired of just fucking Discord and Twitch. Or I'm Discord and fucking Twitter bots. By the way, the only reason fucking or Elon hasn't done anything about it is because the second he gets rid of the bots, it fucking knocks the 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 fucking usage of a site down. 44%. Yeah. You're almost ready to eat. I, uh, I don't think this is the prettiest thing I've ever made, but I'm sure it tastes great. You can see the oil is starting to separate, though. So that is something that it said would happen, which is good. That's where I want it to be. Saute it till oil starts to release and it should have a semi-dry consistency. So we're just gonna let this fucking do its thing. But I will tell you the mutton is, is absolutely, the, the lamb is absolutely cooked through. Now we just need to get that consistency. That's it, I'm just fucking literally just steaming it off. Legitimately. Hmm. 
<laughs> and that, kids, is why you use the claw method. Because it's not a big deal if you just nick a part of your thumb off. It's not your actual thumb, it's just a little piece of skin that fucking ain't gonna do shit. It is a very unique smell, I, I will say. The uh, the blends of spices and the marinade really, really kicking at each other. And like the best. This is also a reminder that y'all should always have a first aid kit handy and know exactly where it is and what's in it. Look at that, not a big deal, fucking oops. Nicked myself. Oh well. Band aid. Right there. It's gonna bleed like a fucking stuck pig though, because it's a fucking sharp knife. But. Not blood anywhere. One more month, and I can unsub forever Kyo's goblin. <laughs> Paper thin. Yo, Alex here. Yep, there you go. One more month, and you can unsub for fucking ever, baby. You can actually golf tonight? Hell yeah, brother. How was, uh, how was Lancer? Alec, how are you? I hope you're enjoying fucking Reese Hoskins. You're welcome. Listen, you can take the guy out of Philly, but you can't take the Philly out of the guy. Yeah, good. These can It's off. And we're starting to dry out a little bit on this consistency as well. But I will let you know there is just kind of chunks of cinnamon in here, so be careful. But yeah, that just needs a little bit longer to reduce. Oh, nice, 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 nice. What's up, Lumi? Big ups for the raid, girl. How are you? Howdy, howdy, raiders. I'm Kios. I'm making curry. I'm nursing a wound. Let me um, let me actually hit this with a little bit of clotting powder. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's going. And basically just the final stages. I'm just reducing, um, well, the cooking liquid. Again, this is a more modified belly ram. Um, I don't have ghee. I, uh, I am quite poor. Uh, only had the ability to get lamb and not mutton, so this was more expensive than it needed to be. I also added some veggies to it, but right now um, it is just basically, I'm just cooking off most of the remaining liquid. Um, it is a pretty interesting, uh, it's a, it's a marinade of, uh, ginger, onion, uh, garlic, coriander, uh, clove. <sighs> Cardamom. Um, cinnamon, like stick. And then kind of marinate your mutton in it and throw it into some ghee. Just let it chill. Um, so right now we're just basically getting the rest of the liquid out of there. But yes, hi howdy Raiders, you don't know me, I'm Kios, I'm here, I'm queer, I speed run way too many video games. Uh, hope you had a good weekend so far, hope you had a good Friday, uh, uh and hopefully your Saturday ain't too awful either. I am gonna take one of these chunks of lamb out. Take a look at it. Yeah, we cooked, but lamb that. Mmm. The flavor is good, though. 
tangy, savory. You definitely feel like the onions and cardamom and cinnamon have really cooked down into it. Even though it didn't get too, too in the marinade, uh, you know, it's still not bad. Again, probably would have been better with mutton, but I couldn't find it. I live in a very bougie, expensive fucking area, so people don't people don't want mutton or goat. They want lamb and veal and filet. Name a sadder fucking cut of meat than filet. Take a look at these carrots too. I want to make sure they're at least softened. Very close. you weren't at like a streamer convention a fucking meetup con this week on weeb cons on uwu cons this weekend uh, uh. I do declare this is done Mutton is lamb, it's just old. Literally, that's it. It's just fucking old. All right, I have my favorite rice. In here, that'd be terrific for this. It may also make for great fried rice. Finish it with some coriander. I don't have fuck. It's just not something for uh, considering my wife had a whole cilantro thing. So here we go. It is definitely not the prettiest looking thing. I'm sure a little bit of green would help, or I could have done like a green. You're looking at something like this. Motherfucker, come on. There we go. Yeah. All right, dinner is ready. Yeah, there, there's a there's a whole bunch of events going on. It's mainly like YouTubers and artists and shit, though, and anime. That's where all the big, all the big PP tubers are at. Uh, so it is lamb. If you've not had lamb, it is uh, it is bold, a little bit bold. Think about, think it like beef plus. This works better if I zoom out. Um. It is a touch overcooked, but you know, again, it's part of life. Um, but I will tell you, it is uh, not bad. 
Um, the yogurt gives it a nice tang. And to be honest, yogurt with cardamom um, and ginger is always a very just, not a tart bad flavor, but there's a, a tang to it. Um, the onions and carrots got a nice little um, sugar sweet it's more of like a natural sweet um, or like a hey I can tell there was there was something in there to have a little bit of, of sweetness to it the good news is the carrots are nice and cooked the onions are basically fucking caramelized so they're nice and, nice and tender I think weeb is in tech. That's um, anime VTuber streamer type deal. Oof. Cardamom's great. I fucking love cardamom. I think it's so... <clears throat> like the fact that when you mention cardamom 90% of the time, with people, um, at least around here, it's like, oh, like in curry. There's so much you can do with cardamom, I promise you. Put it, put it in your fucking cake, okay? Put, you know, with cake with vanilla. Fucking that savory background without being the flavor. I did, uh, I did add a little bit of garam masala powder to this um, as well, which to me, I think is a, is a really nice, um, <clears throat> when people think of curry, uh, that's like the flavor <clears throat> they generally think about, um, but not that it dominates the dish and uh, controls what it tastes like. Oh, nicely matchsticked uh, peppers. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Ah. So at this point, I guess I will ask if anyone has any fucking questions. Questions about me. Questions about what we cooked. What I could do better. What I did okay. <laughs> how, how many times have you fucking nicked your fucking corner of your thumb off on stream? Enough that it's just a list now. <laughs> um, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Glad you had a good session. What would uh, what was the one shot? It's a knife in the world. Straight up. Best part is this mic. There may not be many like it, to be honest, because it's very expensive. There may be many knives like this one. But this one in particular is fucking mine. Oh shit. So you basically did like fucking reverse Hitman. Get down. You, you basically. Fuck man. 
mandolins, by the way. What do you got against mandolins, Makora? Well, why do you hate mandolins? Fuck the deal. What's wrong with this? Besides, it's like out of tune. Slightly out of tune. I fucking hate tuning mandolins. Horrendously out of tune. But hey, I was trying it. <laughs> to be honest, uh, my issue is just having a mandolin that stays sharp enough. You know what the actual answer is? And I mean, it's a really good answer. I, I fucking uh, sliced five potatoes worth for when I did. Um, um, the potatoes au gratin for Shelby for Valentine's Day worked perfectly. Didn't lose a single finger. Bam, 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 bam. This is, a, this is pretty good. I think, I, given it again, obviously I would let it marinate and not overcook it. Um, a little bit less coriander. <laughs> Those pods were big. <laughs> ah, well, here's the deal. I think we're good here. Um, are we ready for golf? Because I ain't got anything else in the kitchen. The yeah, fuck yeah. Custom maps are always fun. The thing with mandolins is you have to use the either the flat method, like this, or you have the claw method. So if you do slip off, you're you're not fucking anything up super hard. Yeah. Just like everything else in the kitchen, the sharper it is, the less accidents you have. Alright. Well, I think we are good here. I appreciate everyone that's contributed. Um, and especially hung around, given everything that's fucking gone on the past month. Um, well, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't do it without y'all. I'm glad at least some of you maybe learn a thing or two. You participate, you enjoy. Um, but yeah, let's go and play some golf. But are you testing me? Will you testing me? Okay, I won't watch.